G1 Climax 2018, Night 18, the final night of block matches. Now, as we know, the winner of this block's already been determined. It's going to be Ishii. No one can catch him. <clears throat> A block was won by Hoshi Tanahashi. But this night, we'll still be filled with some great matches. As the previous night of A block action, even though we knew Tanahashi was winning, he and Okada still won a 100% matchup. So we can see something similar here tonight. Our first match is going to be one that people have anticipated for a very long time. Something people have always wanted to see. It's going to be Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi. They're going to be kicking it off here tonight. And this is a big, big time matchup. People have wanted to see this. The Golden Lovers collide here on the grand stage. And it's kicking things off because these two didn't do well in the simulated G1. In fact, Ibushi is dead last currently in that simulation, so he's going to be kicking off shows. While the big boys like Ishii and Naito and ZSJ, they're going to be main eventing. <laughs> two best friends, potential lovers, having to fight each other. Hey, down. Time up here, chop across the chest from Omega. Oh, what a stiff punch straight to the face of Kota Ibushi as they try and do a test of strength here. Breakaway, drop kick missing. And it's high up now. Forearm from Omega. And another one from Omega. Coming behind now. Series of elbows there. Oh, what a kick to the. Oh, a big drop kick doesn't connect again. Omega's second time he's missed now, going to the ankle lock goes Ibushi. Going behind. Oh, V Trigger! The Ripcord V Trigger! Deadlift German! Omega looking to put Ibushi away early here. Ibushi with a scoop slam, recovering from it. Side headlock. Scoop slam. The kick doesn't connect. Working out of the arm. Tying up. Now they both come off the ropes. Go behind. Omega. Sends Ibushi to the ropes. Goes behind again. With that ripcord, but got elbowed instead. Scoop slam again from Ibushi. Tying up. Oh, strike exchange here. The punch from Omega and the kicks from Ibushi. Back and forth. Get elbow there. Series of forearms from Ibushi. Now trying to work the leg here. Got the legs right around his leg. Twisting Omega's leg at the ankle. Putting pressure at the knee as well. And kind of, oh, a drop kick that misses! The hiding on that was insane, but he's hit straight back on the mat. Here we go, Ibushi pulls him up. Power bomb! Sit out. One, two. Oh, no, only, only the one. Not even a two. The kicks wear Omega down. Kamigoye from Ibushi! And now it goes into the ankle lock straight away. They both have knee-based finishes. Sweeping the leg. Pulling him up. Tie up. Sweep the leg again from Omega. Off the ropes. Drop kick straight to the face. Up again, Omega sending Ibushi to the ropes. Spinning heel kick. Golden Lovers, look at this. Omega, oh, a reverse Frankensteiner from Ibushi. Stomp into the lower back. Try and get close. Hoisting him into the air, another power bomb from Ibushi. Only the two. And they get a tie up. A series of punches here from Ibushi. Up top now. I know he's not, he's just on the outside. Springboard drop kick! Knocking Omega down. Backdrop suplex to Ibushi. Good sweep into the leg there.
all kick from Omega. Type once more. Another sweeping of the leg. Learning from the Karate Kid, I see. Step up, Enzigiri. Another elbow from Bushi. Hoisting it up. Last wide from Abushi. One, two, three. 2.9. And they get throws that shoulder up. And dropped it to the knees. Omega trying to get control again in this match. A drop kick straight to the face, doing the flip as well. Oh, he misses with that one. Oh, oh sliding under goes Omega. Palm strike misses. Back and forth, Omega and Ibushi now. Back and forth, he strikes. The gun point. The super kick from Kenny Omega. Now pulling Ibushi to his feet. Drop toe hold. Pulling Omega up. Off the ropes. Lariat. Oh, they're both in front. Gut wrench power bomb from Omega. Gets the two. No. Almost. Oh, going across the back of the head again. Pulls him away. Omega hitting the ropes. Drop kick. Landing perfectly. Up again. 450 splash from Kenny Omega. Two. No. Only getting the two count. Four arm. Kick. Oh, a lot of stuff flying around there. Goes up again. Omega with another shooting star press. It's high up. Step up in Zagiri. Oh, bye bye. Omega. Spinning kick. Oh, and a backflip. Hell, a kick. Tie up once more into the ropes, they both go. Ibushi. They're both down. Taking the time. Drop it to the knee. Omega. Off the ropes. Running knee. Another tie up. Strike combination. Down goes Omega. Ibushi to the top. Getting counted. Drop kick. Kamigo yeah again from Ibushi, rolling him over now. One, two, no. Omega again gets that shoulder up. Kick pal, hey, kick from Ibushi. Springboard drop kick halfway across the ring. Now throwing the ropes once more. Bobby attack there. Goes behind. Oh! Pele from Omega this time. Hitting the ropes. Baseball slide. And they're both coming off ropes and they collide. It's sickening impact. Both men are down, both up again. Dropkick doesn't connect this time. Oh, gut wrench. Power bomb. Rope break. Type sending Ibushi to the corner. Omega lining him up. Charging. V trigger in the corner. Drop kick. No. Doesn't connect with it. But he's still in control. Pointing. Up top. Omega. 450 splash. Deadlift German suplex. He may be able to beat Ibushi here. Oh my god. Ibushi on top. Omega on that side. Drop kick to the outside. By Ibushi. And a kick to the back. Yeah, sending Omega into the crowd. You get to the eight count. Tie up. Oh my god, a reverse hook and run on the outside. Head first on the wooden floor. 13 count. Omega grabbing hold. Sliding back in the ring. 16. Ibushi back in. Tie up. Kenny again. In control. Both men are down once more. Wobbly, dropped into the back of the head. 
Time out, out of the ring. Ibushi getting a run up. Oh my god! Asai Moonsault to the outside. They tie up. Leg over the back of the head. Eight count. My goodness. Hoisting him up. Power bomb on the outside. They tie up. No. 15. Omega still on the outside. Omega. Mike can it out. Gets back into the counter. 17. Striking exchange now from both men. Omega. Super kick. 20 minutes have passed. Forearms from Ibushi. Throwing him over. Taunting. Kamigoye! Could this be it? And again, a second Kamigoye. Elbow from Omega. Going behind. No, running Bulldog from Ibushi. This could go to a time limit draw if it hits the 30 minute mark. He's still giving it everything they got. Ibushi now. Drop it to the knees from Omega. Best Bout Machine. What an apt nickname. Oh, the strike block. Forearm. Omega. May have knocked Ibushi out. Drop the back of the head. Down he goes again. Ibushi could be unconscious. Grab a hole. Sweep the leg. Sweep. Oh no. Drop toe hole from Ibushi. Off the ropes he comes now. Close line. Pulling Omega to his feet. Like I said, even though none of these guys can win the G1 Climax here, both these men are fighting for pride and honor. They want to see who's the better man out of these two. I don't think Omega's ever beaten Ibushi. He wants to prove himself. Drop kick. He wants to prove that he's better than Ibushi. Goes behind. Another backdrop suplex on the neck. Dragging Ibushi from the corner. Tie up. Ibushi. Hoist him up. Holy shit. Phoenix Plex! Break! Rope break! <laughs> that could have been it. He tie up again. Forearm. Omega! V trigger! Pulling Abushi back to his feet. But Abushi whips Omega to the ropes. Oh, sliding under. Gut wrench power bomb! Sit out! One, two, three! Can he Omega picks up the win? In 24 minutes. That's the longest match we've seen here. What an incredible match. <laughs> if that doesn't get 110%, I don't know what is right in this world anymore. What an incredible match. The Dr. Bomb for Omega puts it away. 100% match rating. See, I told you. Even though we don't know, we don't know who's winning. These matches can still deliver. Oh man. What a what a what a contest. But go nowhere, because now we're gonna see Hiroki Goto against Juice Robinson. That's a 24 minute match. I mean not in real time, but like God damn, I've never seen a match do that before. <laughs> that, 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 I think that may have been the best match we've seen in the G1 simulation so far. Goto and Juice, could they top it maybe? Okay, let's sign up. Ooh, strike from Juice, doesn't work. Now it gets sent to the ropes. Good knee there from Juice Robinson. Well, oh, they're both coming off. Tie up. Oh, strike, just a little strike there from Juice. Chop to the chest from Goto. Now Juice working the leg here. Trying to work him over a little bit. Forearm. Scoop slam from Juice. Stop with the knees. Oh, a slap right to the chest. Snap man now. As Juice pulls Goto away from the ropes, gets a sent on in. Now he ties up. Elbow to the back. 
scoop and a slam by Godo. Working through, rolling through, Tequila Sunrise now from Goto. Very well done here. Oh, a smack. Oh, they're going back and forth with some strikes now, Goto and Juice. Down goes Goto. And Juice Robinson. Arm drag. Kick to the back. To the corner. Oh, puts him into the air. Oh, Roshi Roshi! By Goto, as he drags Juice away. Point him up. Headbutt. Goes behind, running Bulldog by Juice Robinson. Sidewalk slam. Oh no, into the backbreaker. Boston Crab now. Don't think you give up. Try to get him away here. Rolling through, pin from Goto. Only the one count. Five minutes passed. Into the corner. DDT by Juice Robinson. Trying to circle. Oh, that punch misses. Elbow to the back by Goto. More tie ups. Elbow again. Rolling through into the pin here. One. Only the one. Spinning heel kick misses. Oh, arm drag there from Goto. Now playing him to his feet. Tying up. Goto with a good punch. Drags. Juice away. Snap mare there. And pull Goto back to his feet. Juice. Oh no, roll through, go with the pin. No, almost had him. Now sends Juice. Whoa, a spinning heel kick there from Goto. Hook of the leg. One. No, only the one. Sending Goto to the corner. Tie up Juice Robinson, placing Goto on the top rope. This could be bad. Suplex off the top by Juice. Go and go to his feet. Off the ropes again. Hits the other side of the ring. Chop doesn't connect. Elbow to the back. Running Bulldog now from Goto. Trying to drag him away. Juice pushes him up to his feet. Headbutt misses. Forearm connecting. Goto drops down. Juice pulling him to his feet. No, go behind. Running Bulldog. Both men are down. Up comes Goto. Still reeling over that Ibushi Omega match. Holy shit. Ome uh, Goto with the elbow drop. Oh, that's a couple sentons from Juice. Oh, a lariat. Juice landed on his head. Goto with a discus lariat. Now twisting around. Tequila Sunrise in the middle of the ring. There's no ropes for Juice to grab onto now. He might tap out here. But no. DDT by Juice Robinson. Goto now. Hook of the leg, no. And they both come through. Forearm. Side headlock running Bulldog. Goto. We both come up for six months. More again. Juice with that, four, uh, that shoulder tackle. Dropping Goto. Grab to hold. Bridging German suplex. Now sending Juice on the ropes. Close line again. And we wonder how many more times you can lay on your neck and keep going. Spinning heel kick. Goto. Looking to signal for the end. Frog splash. Because my neck breaker from Juice. 
steps into his feet. Oh my god. Ushi Garoshi! Goto in control as he drags Juice to the center. Tie up. Headbutt. Up top again. Elbow drop from Goto. And a second one. Swinging egg breaker now by Juice. Sending Goto away to the ropes. Sliding under drop. Oh, now that he's coming off as well. Oh, they come wide. They run into each other. Heads may have cracked on that one. But Goto's up first. Trying to drag Juice away from the ropes. Hook of the leg here. Two. Ooh. Oh, so close. Oh, now back and forth. Strike for strike, these two go. Hulking it up. Oh, close line now, Juice. Sent on. Oh, God. Juice went to run to the road, but I think he just crashed into the turnbuckle. <laughs> like a fool. Here we go. Sh no, just a suplex. Oh, and out of the side of the ring. Fool's Juice Robinson from that suplex. Go, you're going to have to join him here. Tie up. Running Bulldog. Headbutt, Jesus. Now a kick at the spine. <clears throat> Suplex by Juice, referee halfway to the 20 count. But Juice back in as Goto stays outside while Bleed gets back in now. <clears throat> Who's him up? Ushigaroshi, Mamma Mia! By Goto. Love the Ushigaroshi. Sends him to the corner. Goto. I was going to try and get a run up, but then Juice moved. Oh, Russian leg sweep. Juice Robinson. Sent on. Picks Goto up. Drop to hold by Goto. Elbow to the back. Running to his feet. Elbow. Oh. He misses there. Elbow to the back. Oh, that's big discus layer. It doesn't connect now. Juice sending Goto off to the ropes. Elbow. Oh, it's blocked by Goto. He's coming for you. Off the ropes. They're both coming again. The forearm doesn't connect. But that one does by Juice. As he pulls Goto to his feet. Running Bulldog. Trying to drag Juice away. On him over. Which what the intention there was, but he gets that forearm in. Juice with the elbow to the top of the head. Oh god, throws him out of the ring! And Juice using this time to sort of gather his thoughts. Get his composure. Oh, Discus Lariat and a punch. They both missed their big strikes. Goto, kick to the back. Off the ropes. Flipping sent on by Goto. Juice with the DDT. Middle of the ring. Nowhere to go. Flying cross body. One, two, three. Just over the 20 minute mark. Juice secures the win. My goodness, both these ma both matches we've seen tonight have both gone 20 minutes. How much more are we going to see of that? an 88% and how many times are we going to see these 20 minute matches on this card but nevertheless our next battle will be between Tamatonga and Toru Yano there was a chance this match could end in like a few seconds <laughs> but the final night here these guys aren't disappointing even though none of them can win that, that block or get to the UN final again it's all just about that honour and on this final night of B-Block action, they're just going to throw everything they got into this. To put on the best show they possibly can. And Tamatong with a suplex to Yano, he goes to the outside. He's posing there. Yano has a chair already. Oh, and he hits him with it. He went for a second type and misses. Forearm now by Yano. Test the strength. Drop toe hold. Tie up. Gouting the eyes goes Yano. Despicable. Chop across the chest. 
out of the ring. Count of one. Uh oh. Yano has the chair. Oh, that chair shot just misses. Again. Forearm. Scoop. Slam by Tamasonga. Yeah, I just trying to chase him away from the ropes, it looks like. And Sai up again. Tama. Suplex. And Sai up. I'm to the back by Yano. Circling around. Tying up again, hoisting him into the air. Suplex. There's two chairs in that ring. Tie up once more. Oh, now we've got the strike exchange strong style. Yano once more. Good elbow there, dropping Yano. Stomping the chest. Now, throw slip. Oh no. Holds on nicely. Elbow to the back of the head. Dragging him away. Tie up again. Ooh, that bridging pin there from Yano, but doesn't even net a one count. Oh, that dragon suplex with a tent there. Now hook of the leg. I need the one. Sending yet uh, Tama to the corner. Suplex from Tama Tonga dropping Yano. Forearm. Now can I drag Tama away? Sliding under. The bad boy Tama Tonga goes behind. No, Yano countering. Yano into a sleeper hold now. Trying to choke out Tama Tonga. Can't quite pull it off. But Tama slides in, hook of the leg. Two. Oh no, not even, not even two. Headbutt there from Tama Tonga. Tying up. Roll up now. Oh. <laughs> he can't even be stopped. Tama now. On the offense. One. No. Samoan drop. Tying up once more. Goes behind. Yano with a super. No! Oh, takes him down, showing the amateur wrestling skills of Toriano. And holy hell! That <laughs> gut red suplex by Toriano. Now half Boston Crab here. Not even the full one, it's a half one. Oh, nice no, Hurricane Rana. Hurricane Rana again from Tanisana. Two. Oh, and the two count. Take down onto the chair, though. Spear from Tanisana now. Roll up by Yano. I need a break though. Side headlock. Yano with a forearm. Side headlock now. Drops him. Forearm, forearm, forearm. Tamatonga to the top now. High five, throw onto Yano. One. Two, three, no, two point nine. Yano gets that shoulder up. They go through red shoes like a ghost. Yano, another gut wrench suplex. Holy hell! Strike exchange again. 
headbutt from Yaro! And he walks away unscathed! Going behind, whoa, 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 roll up, and now backslide pin! Two! No. Two! Oh! Low blow on the outside! Chair in hand by Tamatonga this time. DDT right near that chair. Tamatonga now working over right over now. Into the pin. Hand press pin. Two! Oh! In that corner. Roll up. No. Another high fly flow. One. Two. Oh, Yano keeping himself in this one. Again, everyone's just trying to fight for honor. Spear again. Surely. No. Not it. Not enough. Yano now hooking the leg. Oh, Yano. Super to the outside. Balls come up You can hear a few times. Take down Tamatonga now. Roll up once more. Center of the ring after the 15 minute mark now, too. Kicking out. Yano trying to get those sneaky roll ups whenever he can. Catch Tamatonga off guard. Atomic drop. Once again to the groin. Yano. Oh! Moved out of the way! Tama just hit that one. Oh, spear now. <clears throat> Forearm. Hulking up. Trying to pull Tamatonga away from the rods as he pulls Tamatonga to his feet. Forearm. Down goes Tama. Roll over. That bridging pin once more. Is he too close to the ropes? Yes. Hurricane Rana. We'll tie up again. Roll up once more. Two goes to the ropes. And if you complain once more, you'll meet an army of me. Now, oh, sleep hold! He may choke Yano out right here! Middle of the ring! Yano can't reach those ropes, this could be it! He's fading, but he gets out. Spear! Oh, misses! That could have been the end right there. Dropkick misses. I want to see Yano play that rolling death cradle, but he gets the roll up! Two! Three! No! <laughs> Tamatonga throwing the shoulders up. Hurricane Rana into a power bomb from Yano. Two, three. Now Yano picks up the win. Oh. You know it's a good night when the shortest match is 18 minutes. <laughs> Incredible stuff from those men as well. So far, the worst match is an 82%, which is pretty damn good. Alright, next up. it's You would think it's going to be our block winner, Tomohiro Ishii, in his match. Yeah, he's the block winner, you'd think. But you would be wrong. Oh, he's not in the main... I mean, you'd be right, he's up next. He's not in the main event, though. Main event's going to be Naito and ZSJ, but first, we're going to go through Ishii and Sonata. The reason I put Naito and ZSJ in the main event is because those two guys are... Uh, in, ZSJ's tied for second, and Naito could also join that. I think they're both, on average, higher quality than these two. I mean, in terms of like the G1 simulation rankings and stuff. Ishii is dropped across the chest, and again. And with forearm. Chop, 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 chop. Dropping Sonata. Yes, Sonata. And Ishii. If Ishii wins this, he'll be on eight wins. Oh, misses. Which is the same what Tanahashi was on. 
and the only loss he's had so far is to Zack Sabre Jr. Goes behind Suplex. Dragon Screw takedown. Going behind. Another Suplex there. Oh, raining those forearms in the ground. A pound from Ishii. Going to Bruce Sonata's handsome, handsome face. Trying to pull Sonata away from the corner. Rolling him over. Going to go into the pin here. Only gets the one off of that one. And he scoops him to Ishii as he falls to the outside. Shot right to the chest and a strike now from Sonata to go back and forth. Off the rope. Oh, Lariat drops Sonata. Into the air. Sonata, whoa, what a counter. Does he have protection against the Brain Buster because he has that Mohawk? Does that protect him, I wonder? Now to the ropes. Leaping over. Goes behind. Sonata, axe handle smash. Ishii goes behind him. Suplex. Up into the air again. Brain Buster from Ishii. Two. Oh. That's very close there. They both charge off. Sonata got a tough task of facing the B Block winner. And maybe even the G1 Climax winner, Tom here Ishii. Do you imagine that? Ishii getting to go to Wrestle Kingdom. In our last simulation it was Goto. This time it's Ishii. Maybe. <clears throat> Brain Buster! I'd love to see both those guys get world title runs, to be honest with you. I want Goto and Ishii. I'd love both of them to get IWGP title runs. Tombstone by Ishii! Kick to the spine. Another suplex now. Drop toe hold. Now into the pin goes Sonata. Oh, don't need the one there. But Ishii hoists him into the air. Power bomb folds him up. Two. Oh, 2.9. Ishii drops him again. Dredging German suplex. Again, Tombstone Pile Driver directly on the head. Ishii's offense seems to be around just destroying the opponent's neck to make up for the lack of one he has, maybe. He wants everyone to be like him. Now off the ropes. Sonata. Ooh, stops himself. Ishii centering again. Brain Buster. Folds him up. That might do it. Tomohiro Ishii picks up the victory. Guess we had three big matches, we're gonna have a shorter one as Ishii puts Sonata away, eight minutes, 13. But now the final match of our G1 block. It's going to be Naito and Zack Sabre Jr. Let's get right into it. This is going to be big. This is the final match. Let's see if these two men can deliver. Step up Enzigiri. I am kind of regretting not having Ibushi Omega on last, considering how amazing that was. But maybe Naito and Zack Sabre Jr. can deliver even better. Step up Enzigiri there by Naito. Test of strength. Both break away. Work in the arm. Forearm by Zack Sabre Jr. I guess a tie up. Oh, test of strength. Naito with a sent on. Kick. Oh, forearm doesn't connect. DT from Naito. 
Now hook of the leg, one. I need the one count. Swinging neck breaker. No, I don't know how to try and pull Zack Sabre Jr. away from the ropes. Ooh, missing with that spinning. Yeah, we'll kick. Into the midsection. Oh, I shot to the back of the head. Step up into Yuri again now. And I'm going to try and steal a pin here with one. No, neither one. That's all you're getting. Again, the step up in Zagiri. No, I don't know, down to the pin. Zach Sabre Jr. keep kicking out. Bridging suplex. Two. Interesting strategy here. Destino now from Naito. Just about to say, going for multiple pins here. Two. Going for multiple pins. Pin after pin. Try and wear ZSJ down. The Destino wasn't enough. Drop kick. Drop kick again. Naito, drop you to the face. Destino again from Naito. That may have done it in less than five minutes. Is this the main event here? Three, two point nine. That is after the three. Three long matches, two of them over 20 minutes. Destino again! One, two, three. Oh no, again, Zach Sabrina so kicks out. Could you imagine any of those, that 24 minute match and then the main event being like five minutes? That's the fourth Destino in this match by Naito as he goes into the pin. Four Destinos, is that enough? No, Zach Sabrina so no sells the finish again. No respect for Destino. Working the arm rolling through Hammerlock now from Naito. Trying to break, trying to beat ZSJ at his own game, the submission game. Four I'm missing, Tropic all rolling through arm oh, bar now by Zack Sabre Jr. But Naito got out of it almost straight away. Go on behind working that arm. DDT by Naito. Uppercut from ZSJ and a forearm by Naito now. Back and forth. Striking exchange. I never thought I'd see Zack Sabre Jr. win a strong style strike exchange. <laughs> he don't look like the strongest man in the world. Now kick to the back. Into the pin. Only the one. Things are looking very much in Naito's favor here. Another Destino! Critical! He hit the Destino and killed Zack Sabre Jr. <laughs> He doesn't even need to get the three count. He just wins by hitting it. What an explosive finish to the G1. I mean, wasn't the best match, but hey, look at that. A Destino getting the critical and finishing it. That's Naito in 751 with a KO victory. But now, we have one more match. The G1 Climax Finals. Tanahashi versus Ishii. And that will come in the next video. See you then.